Hi, this is Petey from Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 243. Now this video is kind of a little mini series for the uh, next set of uh, From Scratch videos for the people that have actually uh, either purchased the scripts or for some reason are starting their project all over. Uh, when you download your, your, your purchase scripts now, you're going to find that you have three folders. Uh, one is the obsolete folder, which is scripts that we've had used in the past or have created but we no longer um, are using anymore and I'm including those just uh, basically for complete completeness and all of our scripts that we wrote for our uh, UI kit example are in here as well and I've actually included the whole project which I did not mean to do uh, so I'm just quickly going to fix this uh, let me just drag this out and I'm just going to make a new folder here and UI toolkit and I'm just going to go ahead and put the scripts that we did write for that in there and that's pretty much it for this folder like you really this is just uh, included just for references we're not actually going to use anything in there uh, you're going to see another folder, uh, 243 from scratch. Now this is going to be all of the full, all of the uh, scripts that we're actually using uh, up to this point in this video. So uh, let's say um, by the time you get around to doing this video, we're up to, I don't know, 300 or something like that as far as the video count goes. Uh, when you're watching this little video series, all the scripts that are used in uh, the, the 243 series will be in here. So you don't have to worry about uh, the scripts that uh, being advanced along all the way up to 300 and being well incompatible with this video. And of course we have the current uh, folder which is just going to be the current version of all the scripts. So uh, for up to tutorial 300 these are going to be the scripts that are up to tutorial 300. Uh, but like I said I'll be keeping a separate copy of the scripts for uh, this current catch up uh, from scratch video series and they'll be in this folder. So let's go ahead and actually create a new project. So I'm just going to create a new one. I'm going to throw it on my desktop. Uh, I'm just going to call it um, uh, from scratch. Now, like I said, I'm saving it to the desktop. I'm not going to include anything. I don't think there's actually anything we need to include. Um, bu -bu -bum. Well, if we, if we need anything, I'll just grab it later and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna go ahead and save it and here we go we have our empty scene so the first thing I want to do is actually come in to our 243 from scratch I'm just gonna select these folders drag them in I'll close that off we'll move this back and we have all the scripts that we actually need now for our game actually in our project I'm gonna start off and well, let's just take a look here. Uh, the script I'm going to be looking for is called Game Settings 2. And if we were to actually open this script up in Mono Develop, uh, we could scroll down and we're going to see a list of level names. Now, normally for my projects, I don't create a, a string for the level names. What I usually do is just come into uh, Unity itself, go under its build settings, and just add all my levels here and reference them by name. Uh, but since there's been a lot of confusion over people naming their levels different things and in the scripts um, I'm calling the levels by you know what I've called them I've decided to, to go ahead and make a static list of level names uh, for all the levels that I'm using my in my game so if your levels are called something different uh, here's where you want to come in and change them and I did throw a little bit of a comment at the top here so I'm going to go ahead and create all these levels first so main menu, uh, let me see, I'll just shrink this down a bit. So the first one I want is main menu. And if you want to make sure you have the spelling correct, you can just cut and paste. So I'm going to go ahead and save this level off. Uh, before I do that, I'm actually going to create a folder. Let me clear the search here. And I'm going to call this scenes. And I'm actually going to prefix it with an underscore. And then I'm going to save this scene. And I'm going to tell it, if I expand it, to save it in my scenes folder. And I'm going to call the scene main menu. 
So that's saved off. Now I'm just going to go ahead and create a new scene. And this scene needs to be called Character Generation. So again, I'll just select Scenes and then cut and paste the name in. And I'll go on to the next one, which is Character Customization. New scene. Save it in the scenes. There we go. And there's one more. New scene. Save it. Uh, make sure we're in the scenes folder. There we go. Now there used to be one other one for, uh, forget exactly what I called it. It was before I actually integrated uh, our character customization into our, our character generation. Uh, there was one after, and I can't remember exactly what I called, but since I've included it in uh, the character customization part, I, I no longer use that scene. And I don't believe I've moved all of those files out of my script folder yet. Uh, there's obviously going to be some purging I'm going to have to do going through here again, but I'll get to that in a later tutorial. That about does it for this video. Right now we have our project set up and we have our scenes created that we're going to be needing. Uh, in the next video we're going to go ahead and actually start creating our scenes and I'll start off with the main menu scene. And uh, that's actually pretty much it for this video. So uh, as always, if you like the video, make sure you uh, click the little thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.